Stars are pretty tonight. Yeah, right. Uh oh. Don't do it. Don't sing it. I just got it out of my head. What? I was just thinking how <clears throat> the stars at night are big and bright. <laughs> deep in the heart of Texas. Oh, not again. You actually did it. You sang it again. <laughs> Any horse of mine better love Texas as much as I do. There ain't no better place on earth than right here in our great state of Texas. If you say so. Oh, I say so. Oh. I know so. Oh, howdy there, Billy. Howdy. You mind if I sit by your fire? The coyotes are on the trail tonight. Billy, you come by me. No coyote will mess with you if I'm around. Thank you kindly, Willie. Them wild the coyotes, they've been after me. I wish I was big and strong like you, Willie. about a pity party. Dilly, it sounds like you're feeling sorry for yourself. Instead, you should be thankful for how God made you. Roadkill, that's all you are. That blessed snake! Dilly, forget that snake. Don't you go wishing to be something you're not. God knows exactly what he is doing. And he knew what he was doing when he created you and all your armadillo kinfolk. <sighs> oh! Oh, 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 oh! Uh-oh. Come on, Billy. Let's find Billy before the coyotes do. Mark. 
supposed to recognize me. I'm going to be Texas Longhorn instead of Armadillo. Well, I'll be. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Wow, you parents, you're wearing a pair of horns on your head. Doesn't make you a Texas Longhorn. Wow. Sure you can. Why not? I wear these horns as a disguise. Then I'll just hang out by Willie in that cow pen. I'll blend right in and everyone can start calling me, I don't know, maybe Big Tex. That sounds like a good name for a longhorn. Dilly, you must have a screw loose in your brain just because you dress like a longhorn, act like a longhorn, and even change your name. Well, that don't make you a longhorn, Dilly. Dilly, you're an armadillo, and nothing you can do can change that. Texas, Texas. Oh, hell, the boy you stay. Texas, so wonderful and great. Oh, hey, you can. Are you enjoying our fine Texas night? Well, I sure was. But then Dilly showed up. Keep looking, Cowboy Clint. You'll spot him. Dilly? <laughs> what do you got on your head? <sighs> Y'all weren't supposed to recognize me. I'm tired of the coyotes bothering me, so I thought I would turn myself into a Texas Longhorn. <laughs> Why, that's the, <laughs> that's the silliest thing I ever heard, Dilly. That's what I was saying. <laughs> well, now, <laughs> see here, Dilly. You can't just change yourself into something you're not. God made you an armadillo. There's no getting around it. Dilly, you saying you're a longhorn is like me putting on feathers and saying I'm a chicken. Or Cowboy Clint here putting on a dress and saying he's a cowgirl. You can't be changing yourself from what God made you. That's the truth of it. Yes, Dilly. Kitty Cat is right. Now that I, no matter what you say or what you do, that can't change the real truth of the matter. God made you into an armadillo, and you can't change that. Remember, God is perfect, and his plan is perfect, and so he made no mistake when he made you. But, but what if I don't want to be an armadillo? Dilly, it's time for you to learn some Bible doctrine. Take those horns off and come here. Okay, Dilly, look at that big, beautiful Texas sky. God made that moon and them stars. He even knows each one by name. God is in control of all of his creation, and his plan will be accomplished. God made you and God's grace provides for all your needs. So instead of wishing to be someone else, ask God to show you his plan for you. He has a special plan for each one of us, including you. When I look at this big, beautiful Texas sky, I'm reminded of our great Lord, the maker of the universe. I'm thankful that I'm a cat, so I can sleep during the day and chase mice all night. You know, Dilly, I actually always admired your claws because they can dig really deep holes. Really? 
They did come in handy for that. Oh, good. Billy. We were looking for you. You were? Why? Well, we could tell you've been sad and afraid of the coyotes. We wanted to cheer you up to make sure you were okay. You did? Dilly, of course. You are our friend. That's right. Snap out of this, Dilly. Enough of feeling sorry for yourself. Change your thinking to one of being thankful for how God made you and who you are. Yes, yes, yes. Well said, kid cat. God's word says in everything give thanks. That means having a grateful attitude all the time. Oh yes, I remember you telling us that last time. In everything give thanks, the good and even the bad. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. That was step three in protocol of prayer. <laughs> That's a good horse. You've been a listening. Dilly, you got a lot to be thankful for. For starters, you live here in Texas. You have a home here on the ranch and good friends too. You're right. And most of all, I know that God has a perfect plan for me. Thanks for reminding me of that too. I do have a lot of reasons to be thankful. No more wishing and pretending to be something I'm not. God made me an armadillo and it's time to act like one. And I'm really craving to eat a big, juicy grub worm. I'm glad I got my claws to dig from. Ew! <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. All right, all right. Come on, everyone. Gather around the campfire here. Horse, you reminded me of a song I want y'all to learn. It's called, This Is How We Pray to God. I know that. Oh, well, if you know it, sing it with me. To, to the Father, thanks we pray, first our sins we name. Then we thank Him, most of all, for the Savior came. Praise Him for His grace and love that keeps us every day. Next for others and ourselves in Jesus' name we pray. That's a good song to know. It's the steps for the protocol and prayer. Let's all sing it again. To the Father, thus we pray. First our sins we pray. Then we thank Him most of all that the Savior came. Praise Him for His grace and love that keeps us every day. Thanks for others and ourselves in Jesus' name we pray. And if you didn't say anything about feeling sorry for yourself, that's right. Let's all remember to be thankful while we're under this Texas sky.